Okay, so I'm gonna be starting uh, a new video series about how to uh, how to build your own Akash provider. Uh, so in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you what hardware we're gonna be using uh, for this um, for this series. Um, first of all, and the most important thing is the processor which is the AMD EPIC 7642 it's a 48 core and 96 thread processor um, so called ROM series that's the second generation of uh, EPIC processors uh, it's a bit of an overkill for this uh, build but uh, yeah we're gonna use it since it's something that I have lying around. Uh, for storage we're going to be using this uh, 3.2 uh, terabyte Intel uh, P4610. Uh, it's an enterprise uh, NVMe. It's Gen 3 but it's uh, really high performance and uh, extreme durability and we're going to be using it with this uh, adapter which is the U2 uh, to uh, PCIe. U2 is the uh, connector that uh, these drives use. Um, this is the Arctic cooling uh, uh, heatsink with uh, the appropriate uh, fan. There is another fan, there is one more fan. This cooler uses two of them. It's a four unit uh, height SP3 SP3 is the socket for the EPIX. Um, so this will work with uh, any EPIC or Threadripper processor. Uh, moving on, we're going to be using this uh, four unit uh, chassis with uh, 1200 uh, watt uh, Be Quiet uh, power supply. It's a uh, consumer power supply but it's good enough for this and it has plenty of power and uh, yeah I don't expect any issues with this um, the main board is the super micro H11 uh, I think it's SSLI I think that's the name of the uh, main board let's see if we can find the uh, the name yeah, yeah, yeah H11 SSLI down here it says here AG11 SSLI. Uh, there's eight uh, RAM sticks. These are 64 gigabyte each, uh, totaling in 512, like half a terabyte of RAM. Again, this is pretty overkill, but uh, this is something that I have lying around. So yeah, we're gonna be using that. And yeah. The network card, still not sure if we're gonna be going with 40 gigabit or 10 gigabit, but either way, both are enough. Uh, so, yeah, um, I'm not gonna be doing the build video like hardware build, we're gonna be focusing on the software part and how to install everything, and uh, yeah. So stay tuned. All right, so this is the finished uh, build. Yeah, like I said, I'm one gonna be focusing on the hardware, but uh, it is the base of the build. So yeah, uh, I've removed. This case usually has uh, like uh, five and a half inch mounting brackets here, and uh, there's even a place for a fan here. Which is fine. I have uh, I have a number of fans, like extra fans lying around, like this this Delta, but uh, it's just too wide to fit here, and I don't expect any hard workload for this. This will not stay in production. This will just be used uh, for the purpose of this video. So yeah, I don't expect uh, this CPU to take <laughs> more than a few percent of a load so yeah no uh, special cooling is required for this build 
Uh, anyway, I have decided to use a 10 gig uh, card uh, simply because uh, I can use this here on this table. I don't need to move this to a rack. If I used a 40 gig card, I would have had to put this whole thing in a rack and uh, yeah, move the rack and go behind the rack and yeah, it's gonna be too much of a hassle. Uh, so, and with the 10, 10 gig I can just uh, uh, take a cable and uh, uh, yeah, plug it in here. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Uh, from now on, all you're gonna be seeing is uh, the console of this uh, machine uh, and uh, yeah the build videos this is the end of the hardware part of this series uh, like share subscribe shout out to my buddies at uh, Akash and uh, yeah see you in the next one